Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready? New Orleans. How on the back. to our hotel a uh, little bit small but it's actually really nice overall and we're only about five blocks from uh, Bourbon Street so we're gonna be checking out their beignets first thing in the morning but yeah give them a little tour there's a bed, a bed a blue stripe a computer desk for the editing I think that's a lamp <laughs> we got a sink a fridge yo what's up food fam here in New Orleans Again, this is our room. It's not very big, but it's nice. Small. And right we got there. our hotel kind of far, so we have to walk to Canal Street. Don't ever do that, guys. I'm serious. Don't ever, ever do that. Pay the extra. We, to... we literally could have paid like $100 more and got a room like downtown. Downtown. Instead, we have to walk like 35 miles to a train, and then the train takes us there. <laughs> We don't know what we're doing, but we're here! <laughs> but we're here and it's not 35 miles, it's like... It's like probably a quarter of a mile. Half a mile? Probably more than that, more like a mile. I don't know. Yeah, it takes us like 30 minutes to walk there. Alright guys, we're about to go get a beignet. We're about to walk our 35 miles, get our steps in to go try it. We'll get some more videos, and today's gonna be more of a vlog, so enjoy it. Rachel's cutting me out of the video, so bye! Justin forgot his gel, so... And I forgot a hat, so I bought a hat. What? New hat. Cafe de Moy. Man, I'm about to devour some beignets. I think we went to the wrong one, because the one I pictured was big. We went to the mall one on accident. Cafe beignets. Do you want to talk? No, I just want to eat. That is freaking good. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Don't so, eat this in a car. Yeah, so messy. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Was it worth it traveling a thousand miles? Yes. Be careful with that black shirt. Oh, she got a good one. Oh my gosh. This would be a regular thing if we moved here. Okay. Isn't that good? It's a bad day to wear black. Bad. Look, so it's half hot milk and half coffee. Is it? Okay. I burned my tongue. Did you? You can be honest. No, it's good. It's really good coffee. This is better than <laughs> Woo, look at this. Look at that, guys. This is the aftermath right now. Justin devoured all the donuts. We can Better. go home now. Cafe de Mo. De Mo. Cafe de Mo. We don't know. We don't know how to say it. We don't. We have no idea. Seriously, if you're in New Orleans, come to these guys and get a beignet because it was 10 out of 10 when it comes to sweetness. I need to go back to Colorado. It's way too humid. What's up guys? Just got off the trolley. It is so hot. I don't know. I'm so humid and sticky. Like, I don't know how people live here. I think I have sweat under my toenails. Like, I have sweat under my toenails. Everywhere. I'm like, <laughs> under like, my toenails. I don't know if they can even see my head. It's like, this was just from standing here. We just got off the train. So we're basically walking. Uh, we're going to eat a po' boy. I'm still full. <laughs> Me too. Pretty much just ate fried donuts. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. We have weed in Denver. Let me see. Stop. Stop. Johnson. <laughs> Babe, I have like an itch. I got you. Oh, hello. 
I feel so yeah. violated. Yeah, rock on, dude. Guys, that's an actual alligator. Tan? Fawn? I don't know. Ready to eat again, babe? No, I'm not. I'm ready because I didn't eat as many donuts oh as my you. Gosh. Justin ate like two batches. I ate like three. He ate two batches of like what, seven donuts? Oh yeah, I probably had like seven though. We are here. Let's go. Alright guys, so again, this is like, if you look up the best po' boys in New Orleans, this is the place to go. And it's really cool because it's not like white cloth dining or nothing. Like, check out this place. Oh. oh my gosh. Rachel, we eat too much, man. Look how good that looks though. Oh, smell it. Oh my god. That's insane. I might be able to finish this. That's not good. <laughs> Best rated and top recommended po' boy sandwich in all of New Orleans. So we got the most expensive sandwich, <laughs> which is the oyster po' boy. Fried oyster. Oh. Bruh. Good. Done. Mark that down. <laughs> Best sandwich I've ever had. No, I'm serious. Like, I'm like... Good? I've never had an oyster yeah, I sandwich. Thought, I really thought the beignet was just going to take the W. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, all day, you know, it's just a sandwich and we're going to go eat some soup. I'm so glad we decided to do a food challenge. <laughs> Is it good? I want to no, try I, it. I want you to try it right now. No. Seriously. It's like Look at that heavy meat. thing. It's heavy. It's hard to eat. Put, push it down. Flatten it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you. This is the biggest moment of your life. Love that first sight, huh? Nice get that. Go ahead. It's like fried calamari, kind of. But way juicier. Way juicier. Am I making you jealous? Yeah, bad. I literally looked up the best po' boys. And you walk in here, like, you could barely... There's like seven, eight tables, that's it. If you're in New Orleans, and it's out of the way, it doesn't matter. Go go check out Johnny Johnny's Po' Boys. Um, it's in the French quarters, so it's really cool. There's a lot of like side stores and stuff around here. But like, from the bread to the meat, just, oh my god, everything is just delicious about this sandwich. I'm, I feel bad for you guys that you're not eating this in this moment. Guys, we've been walking around for about an hour or so. Oh. Dude, New Orleans is just such a cool city, guys. For all the people that live here, I mean, Really cool. There's some things that we love about it, some things that we don't love about it. Like the it, weather. Yeah, weather kind of sucks. Weather a lot of voodoo sucks. stuff. I'm not huge on that. Yeah. I'm not trying to get a curse before I leave this place. So we're gonna go try some gumbo or jambalaya or something along those lines. Yes. I, I would usually be excited, but I'm so full. I don't know if I can be. All right, guys. Next stop, gumbo. Let's go. So we're getting a sample of like everything here pretty much, the gumbo shop. We're getting three different samples of gumbo and then we're getting three samples of like an entree. So let's see how it is. We're really full but oh well. Trying to drink water? Trying I'm to stay trying, hydrated? I'm, I'm literally sweating while I drink this. How's the humidity? Horrible. Holy crap. Ooh, that was quick. That was so quick. I do have some filet here, and sassafras leaves. I recommend. 
recommend it best with the turkey hot sausage gumbo. This is, is kind of like a, a, little, a little sprinkle goes a long way. We got our food so quick. It was literally like... 30 seconds. Like, like, no, I'm serious, but like four minutes. Yeah, like no joke, four <laughs> minutes. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> so far, I highly recommend the service is great. Yeah. Service is absolutely great, but guys, this is like... Exactly. This is perfect. It's hard to get one thing on the menu, but this was perfect. She recommended it. We kind of told her we had our channel, and we pretty much just let her take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> pretty this much. This is perfect, though. All right, we're just going to dump them all. The crawfish, right? I think. I think so. I think so, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's delicious. Literally. That's freaking delicious. Let's see what this is all about. Sorry, my hands don't. Alright, let's see what's up. It's even better. <laughs> it tastes like butter. Try the jambalaya. Which one's on this? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. jambalaya in the middle. Jambalaya in the middle. Okay. Pretty good. Good. <laughs> Not as good that, as. That's that's where it's at. That's the shrimp one, and then that's crawfish. Oh, that's by far the best. Shrimp's the best? So okay. far. Okay. Alright, so this one is... I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to go play back to the video. Chicken That's good. That one's good. I don't even like white rice. This is the seafood one. Is it seafood? seafood. That one's steamy. Good. Go. Really good. That's what it's at. And this is like a turkey one. This is like turkey, yeah, the sausage. Of course, Justin has to get the sausage piece. <laughs> the one sausage piece in the whole soup. Your face and every single one is like so funny. Yeah. <laughs> First, second. That's the sausage. Third. Crawfish third. This Fourth, one. Fifth, and then the jambalaya six. Six? You know, like. I mean, I, I, no, we're I not like a jambalaya it. fan, though. I'm gonna get a piece of sausage. There's literally no sausage. Oh, yeah. Okay, ready? I'm ready. So, sausage? <laughs> That's a turkey. It's like turkey sausage? Yeah, yeah. That's good, huh? It's really good. I like that one. Seafood? Seafood. That, that's good, huh? Like We're gonna be fighting over that one. <laughs> that one's good too. That one's really good. That shrimp one. That shrimp one's where it's at. This though. is where it's good. Okay. Yeah, that to me is my favorite. I'm excited. That's bomb, huh? Alright, alright. That one might be my favorite. Which one? The chili one? I I could I could see that. Last but not least, jambalaya. You like that? I think that jambalaya is really good. It's good. Really good. Kind of like inside a tamale. Okay. What do you think overall? Overall, guys, everything's good. You hold that? Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's a sweet pepper or pepper that's small, it's gonna be really hot. I'm guessing sweet. From the middle. The middle. We're gonna devour this real quick and we'll be back. Laura's. Yeah, we're going to cross. Yeah, let's do it. Justin's holding the camera, so I'm sorry. Hey, everyone knows I'm better. Laura's. Established 1913. What? Look at this. Let me flip this over so I can see myself. Ooh, what's up, handsome? All right, so we're at, we are about to eat. Haley? I don't know. We're going to we, ask. We keep saying it wrong. Justin's in the candy store, not too good. <laughs> oh, 
I think these are it. No, those are turtles. And we're looking for pa pay pali police? Pralines? Pralines, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> They're right back here. The one that says um, Criollo on it is our oldest recipe. This store was started in 1913. Mm. So um, it's been around for over a hundred years. Um, wow. And this was the original recipe they used, and it was, even then, it was a real old recipe. There's no, no way. There's nothing in there that requires refrigeration. It's just nuts and sugar and water. What? Is it a one? Mm. So cool. I know, it is cool. Mm. Alright guys, we just got some... Uh, what are we called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I cannot remember. That is like you know those words you just can't remember to save your life? That's it. So you'll see us in the next clip. We'll probably be at our hotel. So we went to Laura's candies, right? Yep. And we got some candy, brought it home with us actually. And we so we thought we were gonna record it, but we literally fell asleep when we got to our hotel. Like yeah, such a busy day. Like we, we literally, ate. for how much it was, I mean, for how much we ate, we ate all within like a five-hour period. So we were stuffed. So, cool. so we're gonna. We just we're like we went to the hotel and we fell asleep. We didn't get to review it. So and then we, we had to, to we had to wake up at three a.m. So no time. So we had to come home and now we're gonna review them now. Um, Laura's Candies, they were established in 1913, and it's New Orleans' oldest candy store. Is it? Yeah, didn't even know that. So we got, what are they called? Papayas? <laughs> no. Pompeias? No. Papayas? No, that's a fruit. What are they called? I don't know. Why can I not find them? Oh, pra pralines. Pralines. I'm gonna try... Pralines. Pra pralines. 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 I think it's pralines. Papayas. This one's cracked, so no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on. No. Let me weigh them. Hang on. You're gonna pick a hand. Left hand. <laughs> <laughs> pralines. Alright, guys, so what a praline is is just pretty much uh, sugar, like a bunch of sugar, I think it's butter, and water. And they literally just melt it. It's like an easy recipe. This is the original one, flavor, too. Original with pecans. Oof. They're so good. They're very good. But they're very no sweet. No buts. They're sweet. No. They, no. They are sweet. No. <laughs> Can you order them? I need to be shipped to my house. You want to know the way to my heart? Laura does. Guys, New Orleans was so fun. It was fun. It was so hot. It felt like... We did it with so much. Oh, man. It we was... walked a lot. We, yeah, with jet bad. lag and like trying to record, it felt like a full work week. I don't think I could ever live there. No offense, but <laughs> I, I kind of like Denver better for right now. Yeah. But, um. Not the. Safest? Just ended there. <laughs> Not the safest. Just a little. It's just different than Denver. And right. Denver's kind of more of like. It's hard to go to a city style. when you don't know like the area. Yeah, we like. Like, it's you, some sketchy spots or some. But nice. would you do it again? Would you go to New Orleans again? Oh, yeah. I, guys, oh, yeah. Denver is known for, like, a business city, if you guys don't know. Not for the food. New Orleans, food. Oh, my gosh. For Foodie Duo. That was, like, the best place we could have gone. It was good. Best food I've ever had. And uh, we want to shout out Chad Gwynn. Yo. Chad Thanks Gwynn. for that, man. Like, I was worried about it at first, but I do, I want to say thank you because that was... An idea that's honestly changed the way I've thought about this channel. Like, mm -hmm. th this is gonna be happening again. What was your favorite thing? My favorite thing was the oyster po' boy. Me too. 100%. Absolutely. If you're in New Orleans, go to Johnny's Po' Boys in the French Fried Charter. oyster. Fried, Fried oyster, oyster but bring boy. cash. Drop a comment below if you've tried, like a po' boy, beignets, or papayas. <laughs> Pralines. <laughs> Pralines and we, we did get some gumbo, all that stuff. Let us know if you tried any of those or like. Been to any favorite? of those restaurants? Been to New Orleans? If you ever been to New Orleans, drop a comment. Tell us how it was because we had a blast. Follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we have a TikTok. That's the grenade line. I'm finna kill you. Thanks for watching. We're gonna start hopefully getting on a schedule more posting hopefully in the Absolutely. future. 
We've been lacking bad. Lacking bad. Hold us accountable, guys. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you guys for all this. Thanks for everything. We love you guys. See you later, foodie fam. I'm Justin. I'm Rachel. And thank you for watching Foodie Duo.